You may or may not have heard that just recently it was announced that the show Lucifer on the Fox Network has been canceled. There's not going to be, it's been on for three seasons and apparently it's not going to get a fourth season, at least not on the Fox Network, unless, you know, the studio that makes it, you know, finds another home for it. Now, Lucifer is based on a Vertigo comic book and Vertigo is a DC Comics imprint. That's also, I think, the same imprint that makes that Preacher show that I think comes in AMC. But because Lucifer is a DC show, I was wondering, well, can they just put it on the DC Universe network, right? Let's put our show on our own streaming network. Then we won't have to worry about whether or not another network has it, is willing to, I guess, air it. We can just air it on our own. And then I was thinking, could they do the same thing with Gotham if Fox decides to cancel that? Gotham is, of course, is in the middle. It's about to end its fourth season right now. And, you know, there's a Save Gotham campaign, but, you know, Fox has not announced if they're going to renew that show. And if they don't renew it, can DC and Warner Brothers just decide, okay, we'll put it on our streaming network? And the more I'm thinking about it, the more that the DC Universe network can just be a haven for all kinds of canceled or potential DC shows. You know, why not? I mean, you have a show with kind of a built-in fan base that I guess isn't able to hack it on network TV, but those network TV stations aren't invested in keeping DC or any other people's properties alive because they're not their properties. It's the same thing that could happen with, I guess, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. if that doesn't get renewed. I mean, Marvel and Disney are supposed to be launching their own streaming network, I think, next year. If Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. gets canceled, canceled, they could say, well, we'll just put it on our own network. I mean, we run our own streaming service and we're Disney, right? If they want to. Maybe they could bring back another canceled Marvel show, Agent Carter. Or even The Inhumans. Although I don't think anybody's going to revive The Inhumans because that show was supposed to be so terrible. I don't think there's a legion... Of, I don't think there's a huge fan base you know, wanting that show to come back. Sorry for the people who like Inhumans. I have not seen Inhumans, so, you know, I can't judge. I'm just going off of what I've heard. But anyways, could this be the future of television? And going back to the DC Universe network, it would make sense because as it is now, the DC Universe streaming service is something that people are going to have to pay for. It has to have enough content on it to be enticing for people to pay for it because it costs money. It debuts later this year, 2018, it's supposed to, with three shows already, you know, being ready to put on it. The Titans live action TV show, the Harley Quinn animated show, and Young Justice season three animated. But three shows is not really enough, I think, to motivate enough people to pay for something, right? They've got to have more content. I know that, you know, in 2019, they're supposed to have the Metropolis live action show, the Superman prequel show, and there's one other show. Oh, the Swamp Thing TV show that's supposed to be live action too. But even then, that's going to be five shows. So again, if you're only going to have five shows, I mean, people aren't going to pay for There won't be as many people willing to pay for this unless you have all kinds of content. And what better content than, you know, just to revive canceled DC shows that already have people like, man, I really want to see Lucifer. I really want to see Gotham. If they don't come back, well, I can, you know, subscribe to the DC Universe Network and see them there. And even then, you know, DC could put all, you know, reruns of all these old shows, like the old Flash TV show, the Adam West Batman show, you know, other shows like that, you know, you can probably see where I'm going with this. And even if some of those CW shows get canceled, like The Flash or Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, well, guess what? <laughs> They're going to be on DC Universe. They could put all their old, like, DC animated cartoons and series in there, Batman the Animated Series, you know, Superman, Justice League Unlimited, Teen Titans, you know, all these shows could find a new home on DC's own channel. Old movies, the old Christopher Reeve Superman movies, Michael Keaton Batman movies, the old Wonder Woman, Linda Carter TV show. I mean, I think you can see where I'm going. It's called DC Universe, and it could be literally a universe of past, present, and future DC content. And this could be the future of where TV is going. I mean, like I mentioned before, the Marvel streaming service, Disney Marvel, they could put all their future shows on there. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.